Hey guys, today we are going to learn something in Excel that's actually very handy and it's called absolute cell referencing. So I'm going to explain how it works. There are two ways of doing it. I'm going to show you both ways and I know which way you're going to choose. You're going to choose the easier way, obviously. And uh, that's what I would say. Choose the better way, the easier way. Right, so here you can see we have a worksheet where we have a, a whole lot of people who have been selling t-shirts and how many t-shirts they have sold. So I want to work out how much money did they make, of course. So here we have the cost per t-shirt in cell B1. And if I go over here, I want to work out, right, so how much money did Sibanda make? Sibanda made equals B3 times B1. So the number of shirts times the cost per t-shirt. And that gives me 750 bucks. Good job, Sibanda. Then I'm going to obviously, uh, you know, I'm thinking here, yeah, right, well, I don't want to go and type that in for every single one. I'm going to just drag this down so it copies it down for me. And I go like that, and then I have a look and I go, whoa, something is not quite right. Let's see what's going on. Here I can see Julie sold eight shirts, but she made no money. And Julie's going to be very upset with me if I'm going to give her nothing. So I look at the function here, or the formula, sorry, and it says equals B4 times B2. Now B4 is correct, but that B2 is wrong because B2 is there and there's nothing in B2. And then I look at the next one. It's B3, B4, B5. No, this is not right at all. Now let's see what happened. B3 times B1 was correct because that's the cost per shirt. But then as I copied this down, it obviously then relatively copied down the rest of the, the, the formula here and it changed the cell references. I'm supposed to reference B1 every single time. Now I know you don't have time to go and type in B1 every single time. So let's, let's just take this away and let's fix this, shall we? Take that away. Right, so what do I do? Equals the number of t-shirts times B1. And before I press enter to finish this, there's a keyboard shortcut I'm going to teach you, the F4 button, F4. So I press F4 and have a look. It is now, instead of B1, it's become a dollar B, dollar one. The dollar doesn't mean you're rich. It just means, I'm sorry, that was such a bad day joke. I'm sorry. The dollar means that the dollar B means B will not change and the one, dollar one, one will not change. So watch what happens now. Press enter, all good. Drag this down, let's have a look. That looks a little bit better and let's see. So B3 times B1, B4 times B1, B5 times B1. Do you see that the B1 has not changed? So that's the one way of doing absolute cell referencing. In other words, you reference one cell absolutely. You absolutely reference that cell. It does not change. All right, make sense? Okay. I'm going to show you the other way of doing this, all right? And this is the way I like. Watch this. So I'm going to click on cell B1. And here in the name box, you see it says B1. That's the name or the address of that cell. I'm going to give the cell a name. Now, you all have a name, all right? You all have a name, and your name doesn't change. Unless you legally go get it, you know. But your name doesn't change. So here we go. I'm going to click in the name box, and I'm going to call this cost per shirt cost per shirt there we go that's the name on press enter done have a look now instead of it saying b1 it says cost per shirt now the beauty of this is that no matter where i am in this workbook any worksheet whatsoever if i reference cost per shirt it's it knows it's that cell whatever value is in that cell now how does that work out here so equals the number of t-shirts, there we go, Subanda, times, if I click on B1, it actually says cost per shirt instead of B1. In fact, if, if, if I just typed it in, watch this, if I just type cost per, and there you go, look, it's already there, it's in the system, fantastic. Cost per shirt, beautiful, drag that down, and let's see what each cell says now. B4 times cost per shirt, times cost per shirt, look at that. So that is another way of giving a cell a name where you, when you reference that cell, you reference the name of that cell and it's absolute, it will not change. So there you go. You can use either one of those and they will both work for you. 